I love my Audi Q5. I really do. But she's got a problem and we need to talk about it. It started when she was a young adult, about 50,000 miles. Yes, she took one quart between oil change and we thought that was gonna be a problem at all. Thought we could do that for the rest of her life. But it didn't end there. It kept on going. And now she has many quarts of oil between each oil change. And we'll talk about it now. I've been keeping track of my oil for the last 10 years of how much I've added to my car. It's a 2013 Audi Q5 2.0 liter engine. And I've kept it tracked every all the way from zero miles up to where it is now at 95,000 miles over the 10 year life that I've had it. And at the very beginning, I changed the oil every 10,000 miles and I never added any oil to it. But around 50,000 to 60,000 miles is when I saw the drop off. I had to add, in between 50 and 60,000 miles, I had to add oil at 5,600 miles into my oil change interval. And then after that, I had to do it at 4,845 miles. I had to add it again at 5,600 and then 4,800, and then again the third time at 2,500, and it kept on dropping off as a quick drop to 75K, down to 1,300, then it hit the bottom here at 686. That was right at 75,000 miles that it went all the way down to here. And then it has gone from 75,000 to 95,000. It has gradually decreased to 390, and then down now at 95,000 miles, it's at 250 miles I had to put a new quart of oil. And a new quart of oil, I only put it in when the oil light comes on. Notice it happens on your dashboard, and that on that dashboard is when the red light comes on and the car told me I needed to do it, and I would add exactly a quart into it. So this is what it looks like, how far it will go before I'll have a problem with my car where it won't start anymore or where it won't have any power or it will be missing. I did have a timing chain that needed to be replaced because the timing chain stretched so much that the extender that it, that put the tension onto the chain extended so far that it couldn't go any further and it was it was misfiring because of that so i had to replace the timing chain right here at 94,000 miles so this is what it looks like i'll let you know how far i can go 250 it, it all indications it's not going to get any better it's just going to keep on going down until something major happens that causes me that i that the engine won't start they do have a class action suit that has been filed on 2012 and 2017 Audi models. Classaction.org has filed a lawsuit against Audi on this, and this is because their turbocharged engines are plagued by piss and defects, and so they have a class action claim that's in a New Jersey court. And what the problem with this is, it's only for New Jersey people. If other states do not get onto it, then it won't be for the, for the full United States, but right now it's just for New Jersey. And it comes down here where they're talking about the 2012 to 2017 model year. Of, uh, of Audi, of the 2.0 liter turbocharged engines that are plagued by piston ring defects. And it's a 91 page lawsuit, and it's for two, uh, the models TT, A3, A4, A5, A6, Q3, and Q5, Q5, which is mine. So it's all those model years that they have this class action suit filed. It goes on to talk about what they look like. This one at 26,000 miles failed and it showed the pistons and the damage that happened because of the excess amount of oil that it was using. And the oil ring, the last ring that's on the, the bottom ring that's on the piston does not sit properly against the, the wall and the, the, the groove on the piston. And so they're saying that that's what's causing the oil to leak by. And then sooner or later, the carbon buildup, it will cause either scarring on the, the cylinder wall, which will cause more and more oil to leak, or it will cause the oil ring to break. And when that happens, um, you'll have a major problem with your car where it will not start or maybe even stops immediately. So this is what it looks like. This is uh, the lawsuit. You, you can go to this web page to, to see what it looks like. So there is a, a lawsuit against this. 
it's a 2012-2017, and it was filed on August 17, 2021. Does your car have a drinking problem? If so, write down below in the comments how many miles you get before you have to add a quart to your car. Be sure to subscribe as I will be giving updates on her drinking problems.